Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here today, number nine of what started off as a temporary series has kept a rolling and we are in full swing where I go around to Southern California eateries that are open for takeout, drive through or pick up, but things are progressing and changing. So that might be adjusted just a bit, thankfully. Things are starting to move a little forward. Today's episode is just down the road. It has a, a rich, interesting history. And there aren't many of these spots left. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? And as seems to be par for the course in these days, got my bag of accessories I'll be taking along. Not too far from the circle. Only about a mile up. Arrived at El Taco of Orange. You see the hat there perched above the E and the L. That's the logo. There are not many of these left. And don't be confused, even though it sounds similar to other taco chains, it's not. It's its own entity. El Taco of Orange. To give a little more precise coordinates, East Chapman Ave is the closest cross street right down there. This is Tustin Street. And I've just discovered in the short time frame I've been standing here and looking over at the little strip shopping center mall that's right next door. There's not a lot of folks in this neck of the woods that are outdoors wearing these particular items. So I'm gonna play it by ear and just see how it goes. Obviously what I'm eating at this fine establishment, I will not have this on. Just look at the architecture. This is this is old school. It has been a heck of a while since I've ordered food from this place. In fact, it's probably been four years or so, maybe 2015. And from what I remember, I enjoyed it thoroughly. But I'm back to, to dive into a little bit more of the history. Just look at this. They don't make structures like this anymore when it comes to taco stands. Right on the thoroughfare, that, that beacon of that signage looking down on everyone saying come on in and get yourself some food perhaps you have heard of taco bell and glen bell this was his spot he had a few of them but this was his spot prior to creating taco bell a few years before pretty interesting right and something rarely seen in current days is the fact that there are tables open and accessible to have your meal on that is that is pretty that's pretty dang exciting. Another relic of the past. Pacific coin. Well, at least the the exterior little encompassing shell of where a payphone once sat. 50 cents for five minutes, it states. Plenty of choices up there on the menu board. Everything from full dinners to salads to burritos to veggie options to quesadillas soda pop oh yeah nachos I have no idea what I'm gonna get I'm just gonna decide impulsively when I walk up to the window Get yeah, those old-school lights up there from this angle you can really tell where the drive-through used to be it has been eliminated over time and no longer quite operational but your vehicle would just cruise well, basically the way I'm, I'm walking this way and get your order. Something was right down here. You can see how it's screwed there into the ground. And then it's kind of blocked off with those little parking lot sections there. That's probably changed over the years. Off the top of my head, I do not recall how many in existence there still are of the El Taco, I'll call it a chain, but the amount of El Taco locations. There have been a few that have closed over the last couple of years, so this 
this is a it's a it's a, almost a dinosaur it's a dinosaur of southern california taco culture still kicking There's a lot of birds chirping over there. A whole congregation of fowl. And the front is adorned with these flowers here, this foliage. Even though it is far from December, there is a Santa Claus there on the counter. Another menu board up here, which looks to be almost like a uh, very antique-ish. Been there for a while. I'll fade back out. I guess that way you can see it from both angles. I've once again met up with Jason from the Hey Man from J Man channel, and you have some memories of this place. You want to share some of your some of your thoughts? All right. So I've been eating here since I was a kid back in the '70s. Then I moved over to Anaheim. But this is uh, very excellent food. It's uh, Glen Bell's of Taco Bell. Taco Bell, right? Okay. So Glen Bell had Taco Tia. I believe it's in San Bernardino. I think there's a few still in existence. So we had a few different Taco Tia. Taco Tia. El Taco. El Taco. I don't think he had this very long. Possibly about three years, I assume. And then he sold to one of his partners to open up Taco Bell. So Glen Bell could have been seen here watching over his uh, establishment. Yeah. He would have been Glen Bell, the man himself. When's the last time you ate here? Actually, I ate here probably uh, three days ago. <laughs> I eat here a lot. It's been here, I haven't eaten here probably since 2015. So I've probably eaten here maybe a half a dozen times, but it has been a while. I just love the architecture of this. Oh yeah, there's another one in Anaheim that looks like this that just recently went out on Euclid towards Lincoln. So the Anaheim one's now gone? Oh, gone? If you had to guess, how many you think of these are still left? I believe there's one in San Pedro that uh, has that old logo on it. I believe there's one more in San Pedro. So this is maybe one of only two oh, left? One more in Downey. Okay, so one of only three. So you got Downey, San Pedro, and Orange. Do you remember driving through this as a, as a youngster? I vaguely do. I vaguely that those poles weren't there. There was a window here, and this was. I'm pretty sure this was the That's what I was thinking. It definitely looks like. So you think there was probably a window right around in this section here that's been over. It's stuck at work, but I honestly believe there was a window like right here. It makes sense. You just pull right up and through here, yeah. and get your get your order and drive on out to the road. And this is the original. I was yeah. pointing this out. This is the original menu board and then obviously current day they've added this one here and they have hamburgers yeah they, they have all kind of stuff one tacos man that's like bell beefer when taco oh bell, when taco bell had bell beefers bun taco yeah they had bun tacos back in the day here oh wow they still have them. so they were they were they were kind of the originator of that idea yeah ah forgot about this you get the number nine hey they get the number nine dinner enchilada Chunk chicken, pork, beef, and a medium soda. And I just don't get the green, the extra green sauce on it because it's very spicy. So if you're in a spice, you get the green sauce, but if you're not, just tell them to put very light green sauce. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get too spicy. I might just get a couple tacos. A list of the side dishes there, and one more look. At, one more look at the, the menu board before before we consume. I still don't know what I'm gonna get. I have adjusted my order. I'm going with a number seven, the super carne asada burrito, and I upgraded from a medium soda to a large soda, Mr. Pib style. And I believe Jason is getting the number nine, the dinner enchilada, $8.99 for his, and $8.49 for mine. Well, maybe a little bit more because I got the large soda. See the old lettering there above the grill? Looking through the window, that's, that's awesome. I got a soda, but now that I look at it, maybe I should have got one of these orange type drinks. This states that there, it has, it's made with, has plenty of vitamin C and made with real orange juice. I've never tried that. I'm gonna not be eating in a, I'm not gonna be standing and eating, which this is a, this is an excellent occasion. I will not be near a dumpster. Well, we kick the table with the Oh, the, why is it so high up to your chest like that? Is it made so you can just shovel it in? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> shovel it in. I'm not opposed to that. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that that high above the waist like that. Actually, you can see that it's set. Are they all that way? 
Yeah. They're all that way? This one doesn't know. this one doesn't seem as high. All right, man, got me some chunky pork. Chunky pork. Enchiladas with minus the green sauce. I mean, there might be some green sauce that this is marinated in a little bit. Okay, why do you not like the green sauce? Oh, it's spicy here. Yeah. Because there's green sauce like right down in here, but. You just like a little bit uh, of green sauce. A little bit sauce. of kick, a little bit of kick. And you were saying about these trays, this is like. Uh, this is gold school, man. This is the way they did it back in the day. This is what I remember back in the day in these little aluminum foil round yeah. trays. And I went with this. I went with a burrito, asada, which is steak, right? Yep. So I went with the asada burrito here. Can't really see what's in there till I, till I bite into it. See, yours is very visible, where mine is just kind of concealed in this nice little, nice little package. Very windy through here. This is like a corridor of wind. A corridor of wind. And every time you come here, it it's nice though. Windy, yeah. It gets the breeze going. Okay, I'm going in. Same here. And their pork right here. Oh, it's amazing. It's just so tender and fresh. This is good. Man, that's good. I do enjoy their uh, bun tacos that they have here. Old school pre Taco Bell goodness right here. Southern California is full of taco places. There, every, you can throw a rock in any direction and hit a taco stand. Some are better than others. It's like a good mixture of everything down in here. I love Orange Man. Talking about the city? I'm talking about, well, we're in Orange. I'm talking about the city, but I'm also talking about oh, you're talking about what's inside here. It's a good mixture. Some sour cream. Some wind. <laughs> pork. Tender pork goodness. I usually will get cheese enchiladas. Not always even beef. Like this has, you know, meat in it, but I've really been on a cheese enchilada kick. I think obviously I didn't get it today, but this place is a real blast from the past with the lighting fixtures. Just like kind of stepping back into history. What were you saying about up here? There's like a an old piece of signage. Some red flaking off right here. Looks like this they chopped the sign and plug a hole right here. That, oh, it's an open sign. There's an OP that was probably. Oh, yeah, underneath the light, there's an open sign that they used to plug a hole. Yeah. Good eye. I gave in, even though I had finished my other beverage, I went for one of these. It's called an orange bang. Yep. And I've never had that, but it's like, look how creamy and like frothy it is. Here it goes. Oh yeah. Oh man, it's like a creamsicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like orange juice style. Yeah. Whoa, this might be, oh my gosh. Yeah, what that. have I been missing? I will be consuming more of these throughout the course of my life. This. It's like a creamsicle, but like, it like definitely tastes a little bit of the, the OJ in there. At least I think, maybe it's all in my mind, but. Dang, this is amazing. And where that signage is, which looks to be like a little bit newer in years signage is, it's kind of placed on some wooden planks there. That's gonna do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. Helps keep you in the loop and up to date on future uploads here on this channel. Take it a step further, ring that notification bell. And if you enjoyed this particular episode, give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know you care. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.